Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me for Chronicles and Collecting, where I'm going to open the XXXG01H2 Gundam Heavy Arms Custom, also known as the Heavy Arms Kai, from New Mobile Report Gundam Wing. This figure came out in June 2013 and retailed for 4,410 yen, or about $45 US at the time. We're also going to be taking another look at the Robot Spirits Gundam Sandrock and Gundam Heavy Arms part set, which came out in July 2013 and retailed for 2,310 yen, or about $23 US at the time. So this is the fifth Gundam from Gundam Wing that we haven't looked at. We've done uh, Shenlong, Dead Sith, Sandrock, the one that I'm forgetting, oh, Heavy, well, heavy Arms, which is this one, and then we've looked at the Wing Zero. Um, obviously, there's a little bit of a mismatch. Some of those are the, the second season ones, some of those are the first season ones. This is the second season um, Heavy Arms, which was all that was released as Robot Spirits. But if you recall from a few weeks ago, they did release an option part set that you can kind of return it to its Season 1 form. Since I'm pretty confident that we're going to be getting all of the Season 2 Gundam Wing suits as uh, Metal Robot Spirits, um, we've already seen, obviously, Wing Zero and Epion, uh, Death Sith. Um, they did the pre-order and, and Ultron's been teased, so I'm expecting Heavy Arms probably next. But uh, I'll, I'll set this up to his season one version. And uh, as I've kind of discussed a little bit, you know, the prices of these have been coming down. I think some of it is because people, you know, are expecting the Metal Robot Spirits to come out and looking to upgrade. Um, I think some of it is that the Gundam Universe figures uh, have, already, you know, are coming out and some people like those as, as well. Seems like there's maybe a little bit of a disinterest in, in Robot Spirits in general lately. I've just been seeing a lot of used stuff and, and some prices dropping on figures that I've been looking for a while. You know, obviously maybe if you're looking to uh, buy these as an investment to resell, maybe not the best thing, but if you're just looking to open them up and have some fun with them on um, posing and on your shelf or making a uh, very rarely watched YouTube channel, then it's great great time to be in the hobby. So just taking a look at the accessories here, there's not a whole bunch. Um, kind of got the two uh, arms for the, um, you know, cannons or machine guns, whatever you want to call them. You got the, um, you got this little sword here, which is actually really cool. It's, it's actually, um, you can't quite tell, but it's like two tones, actually. So that's, that's a nice little detail. You know, this is an old figure. Um, you got some stand parts. Obviously, they, they typically don't put uh, the... Yeah, they don't. They don't have the peg holes in these without the adapter. You got a bunch of hands. This time you got four hands, um, so that's cool. So let's put this on the side for a second. And actually, quickly, you know, there, there's some cool stuff about this figure. Um, I think like all these things open. I, let's see here. Yeah, so, oops. so yeah, this kind of opens up to reveal that, and you kind of see, you know, there's all different colors in there, and there's like some. Uh, etching on the inside there, try to get that the right angle. And then um, also you got it on the legs as well. And I think these are a little different than the universe because there's actually the detailing on the inside. And then finally you have the chest plate also opens up. Um, and again, some nice detailing on the inside. You got that nice blue there as well as the etching on the inside panel. So definitely some nice detailing, especially for a figure, you know, that's, that's pretty, pretty old, almost 10 years old, actually. So we've already taken a look at this effect part set a little bit. We looked at the pieces for the Sandrock. So let's see what we have in here for the heavy arms. And everything's gone crazy. But, um, so, you know, you have, you have the skirt parts that are a little different so that you could make it the um, season one. We could do a, a very quick comparison here just so you could see the difference. I mean, very, very slight difference. You just see it, instead of the um, circle there, you have the three lines. So pretty minor, but, you know, it is, it is accurate. Then you got these uh, side skirts here, and we could take a look at how those differ as well. Uh, let's just move this arm. So again, very, very similar. You just don't really have that, um, that little arrow on the edge on the very bottom edge. And then you have the back skirt, which I believe is the same, uh, basically the same difference. Same thing, except you have that little arrow. Um, and for anyone who maybe is not you know, super familiar with Gundam Wing, uh, in season two, the heavy arms got a slight upgrade, sometimes referred to as the heavy arms Kai, sometimes referred to as the heavy arms custom, um, just so that it could be used for space travel. You have a single barrel for the machine gun. The ones that come with it have a double barrel. Um, and then obviously the jetpack is a little different because this 
uh, backpack is obviously for um, you know fighting on Earth, not for fighting in space. Um, and I think that this is the arm for using the uh, blade. So you probably just have to have some little adapter there. And then you have the beam saber here. Now the beam saber, if I remember correctly, and by I remember correctly, I mean I looked it up online, is when the heavy arms was modified for hero's use when he uses it to fight Zex and the tall geese. Um, I believe that is when the heavy arms uses the um, beam saber. And then you have the one extra hand here for, for the beam saber as well. Anyway, so I'm going to take a quick look at this guy. I'm going to pose him. Obviously, there will be a pose that involves um, a lot of firing and machine guns. I kind of miss the full armor Gundar Gundam uh, effect parts, you know, to kind of be able to kind of show all these different missiles and stuff that are coming out of him. But I'm sure we'll be able to do a good enough job with uh, what we have here. So I'll be back in a few minutes with some final thoughts. All right, and we are back. So let's get this guy on the rotating stand and I'll give some final thoughts. So, I mean, it's no secret that I've loved all the Gundam Wing robot spirits. You know, they're old. Um, they may be replaced soon. Can't make any promises to that, but they're pretty awesome. Uh, and Heavy Arms is really uh, no different. Kind of went over kind of all the kind of gimmicks and stuff that he had already. Just a few things that I didn't note originally is that there is actually some space on the back here for an adapter that holds um, the extra double barrels, so you could put you could put those on there. So that's really cool. Um, I did want to also take a note about kind of whether the conversion kit or whatever is really worth it. You know, I, I kind of showed the comparison already. I think I could leave it, you know, up up to you. I would say probably not super worth it unless you really want the single barrel gun. You know, if maybe you have this right now and then there's like you know the metal robot spirits is coming out and you need something to do with this, you buy the conversion kit, turn it into the original heavy arms and then you kind of have two different things um you know on on your shelf which is kind of what i'm you know kind of planning to do uh one other thing i do want to note is there's that other arm that i thought was maybe for the knife but it's actually an arm just for the just for the um beam saber if you don't want to use the hand I i'm sure it's probably a call back to something it's been a while since i've watched gundam wing so that specific reference um escapes me but all in all really nice figure nice detailing uh if i had to say you know two complaints, because I have more than one, I suppose. Um, there's actually like an adapter that's supposed to go into there. I just put the stage right, the, the stand right in there, but it's a little annoying because it's a little too high up, so you have to use one of these, you know, kind of multi ones instead of just the single one that I typically like to use. Not, not a super big deal, um, you know, just something I thought mentioned. And then the one thing that's possibly a negative is, you know, I don't know how strong this joint is to hold this arm. I kind of play with it a little bit, seem to kind of get it where I want, but I'm not 100% confident it's going to stay like that forever. Um, and this is probably a little lighter than the double one. But I would say all in all, those are some pretty um, minor comments. You know, like I said, keep an eye on this one. The prices are, are dropping. And if you don't want to get the Gundam Universe one, now is a good opportunity to pick up the Robot Spirits. Though, like I said, I'm fully expecting this um, the Kai or the second season version of the Heavy Arms to come out as a Mel Robot Spirits, uh, if not by the end of this year, very early next year. Anyway, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate your like or subscribe. And if you didn't, tell me about it in the comments. If there's something else you'd like to see either with this figure or a different figure, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I could do. Do anime reviews on Monday and figure reviews on Wednesdays and Fridays. Thanks so much and keep collecting.